Hey guys, I kept receiving tons of requests to play Guinevere. I guess a lot of you really love this hero. So after 2 years, I finally decided to play her again. But before we continue, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video. Gemstone Legends is a mixed RPG and puzzle game. As the game suggests, it's based on matching 3 or more of the same gens to attack the enemies. If you download the game now using the link in the description and type the promo code hashtag Bitoski hashtag, you'll receive tons of free stuff that will improve your team. The game has a unique mechanic that I from the other games of this genre. You can match gems in both lines as well as diagonally. And every hero has a different attributes and unique abilities, which is why you need to plan carefully if you want to be the higher and more difficult levels. Also, you can collect dragons, which they all have great abilities that will help you even further during the battle. Each hero is fully hand drawn, something that you don't see often in games nowadays, which makes it even more unique. Because of the hex map design, you will have the freedom to explore the map on your own instead of just progressing in a single linear path. If you like competition, there's a PvP arena, and you can join a guild to complete raid bosses. By completing the map, you will gain artifacts, which will allow you to customize each hero and make them a lot stronger. Feel free to download the game now using the link provided in the description below. And once you have completed the tutorial and within 3 hours, remember to type the promo code hashtag Bitoski hashtag in the global chat if you want to receive lots of free stuff. Instead of using the mage talent that reduces the item cost, I would recommend the one that causes additional damage since you can easily trigger that talent. By the way, not gonna lie, sometimes I underestimate the amount of damage Guinevere can actually deal especially with her enhanced basic attack. It's a good idea to use the first skill to check if there's anybody in the bush and just poke whoever is there. In this one, I'll be facing Hayabusa, so I gotta make sure to win the exchange of blows. Hayabusa just wasted his second skill, so I gotta take advantage of that. Once I kill the catapult and gain level 2, I need to go on the offensive mode. Gotta pay attention to the sound and check if the jungler is coming to my lane. Once I saw the two supports on the minimap, I didn't have to worry about any gank. Just gotta keep heading around the map and listen to the sound effects if you want to avoid getting ganked. Hayabusa went to clear the middle lane, now I have to clear the wave as fast as possible and then either set an ambush or go help my team secure the turtle. The well Since we have the number advantage, I didn't think my team needed my help to take the turtle. It seemed like a very easy turtle to take, with a much resistance from the enemy. After connecting her second skill, you have enough time to cast the first skill and even tap the basic attack once before casting her ultimate. But be careful when doing the full combo, if the enemy has some CC skills, they can easily interrupt it. I was getting quite bored of just farming, and since we were quite ahead, I wanted to get some kills as well. Smiley face.
That was a close call, but thanks to Loi's sacrifice, I managed to survive. He will be forever remembered as a hero. I wasn't really sure if he was alone or not, so I was playing a bit safer. But they just decided to switch lanes, which I think was the right call, since Hayabusa was getting completely dominated in the top lane. Since Shaw left the lane, I gotta clear the wave as fast as possible so I can take down the turret while he's distracted. I could tell they were coming to the top lane, so I had to back up right away. I'm not gonna jump, because he will just simply dodge it with his second skill. I gotta wait until he's a bit distracted first. He just wasted his dash, now it's my chance to jump. My team is doing very well, so I could just continue with the push. Here, I'm going to use my ult to nullify his ult kick. This is going to be such an epic outplay. This is great, because if it's too one-sided, the game will end pretty quick and I will not have time to make some epic plays. His blue buff is up, so I'm gonna use it as a bait. I saw him a recall back to his shadow, I was trying to anticipate that.
Hayabusa is going to be the first one to respawn. I will try to instant jump once I see his shadow. One step ahead. I really wanted to destroy the inhibitor, but that was extremely risky. And you already know that I did that intentionally, so you know that's not a good idea to take this kind of risk. Well, even if Yi Shin got these last two kills, I should still be able to get the MVP, since I only died once and I got tons of kills as well. Well, I guess those kills at the end actually matter. Sad face.